Um, I'll tell you, it was it was not an easy decision, only because uh, growing up with uh, Nigerian parents, first of all, it's Oh, like, you have to be a doctor, lawyer, accountant, engineer. You must have Nigerian parents. <laughs> no, I know about you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but yeah. <laughs> you know, right, exactly. You know, it's like, those are like the, the, the requirements, you know, in order right. for there to be success in this industry and, um, or not in this, in this industry, just in life, you know, like, if you're not doing that, you're not going to go anywhere. Right. And uh, Ooh, I'll tell you. Well, yeah. <laughs> so for me, it was like a, it was a struggle, and um, I, 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 I always felt like school was never really for me per se. I always felt like I was always been a very creative uh, person, or you know, I had to do something in order for me to feel like I'm doing something, you know. And sitting down in class and studying or whatever that didn't work for me. So I just found myself. Um, I was working as a bartender, and I kept on hearing people saying, "Hey, you know, why don't you do voiceovers? Why don't you do acting? Whatever the case is." And I was like, "I don't do this cliche thing." You know, everyone is an actor or voice of her, like, whatever the case. And I was like, I don't want to do that, you know? <laughs> and then after a while, I think I, I'd lost my job, and I was home. I started writing, and I was like, you know what? Something about it. I found myself writing. I was like, I think this is somehow speaking to me. And I was like, well, I don't want to just do anything. I was like, what do I want to do? And I was like, I want to do voiceover. So I want to do voiceover, like video games, animation, and stuff of that. Oh, nature. not like you know, not just voiceover. Jones, so like, yeah, uh, not <laughs> James Earl Jones. Not like yeah. that. Yeah. Speaking of which, it was a funny story. While I was in college, uh, he came to give a speech, and really? uh, I asked him a question. Before he even answered my question, he was like, um, "Have you ever thought of doing voiceovers?" Ah. I was like, uh, and he was like, before I even respond, he was like, "Verizon pays very well." <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure he knows about <laughs> exactly, that. Right? Yes. So I was like, oh, well, you know what? Uh, that. Cool. <laughs> I never really thought of it after that, but then you know, it's like as time passed on, you know, it, it, things slowly started dawn. I was like, I started. I felt like, if you want to get spiritual, I, like, I started listening to the universe, and I was like, you know, a lot of people are saying these things. Uh, I was like, let me. I should give it a shot. And uh, I remember one year, I was like, let me just really dedicate all this time and effort to it, and good things started happening. I started getting an agent. You know, uh, people started booking me for things. I was like, well, you know what? Maybe this is. Is it? You know, this is it. Yeah. So I was like, uh, as long as I keep putting my um, my best foot forward, I don't see why you know I should look the other way. Right. Yeah. It's interesting because I have a friend who is a lawyer, Nigerian mm -hmm. lawyer, mm -hmm. and she has a boyfriend who's a musician, and she, for the life of her, cannot understand why her boyfriend will not get a job and you know be straight laced. <laughs> and things like that because she's like I don't understand you need to make money right. we're gonna get married you know all that stuff so how did you explain to your parents <laughs> that your love yeah um, I remember the day too because we're sitting down <laughs> and we were talking first of all let me tell you I, I initially went to, to college to study architecture mm -hmm. and then I went to study advertising and then it was one thing or another and my parents were like choose something do something. I think at that point they were like they were fed up because I was clearly I didn't know what I wanted to do But mm. I was like at the same time. I was like no one goes through life You have to at least try to figure out something, right, so yeah. you know, sure. so I was like well This is it and I remember sitting down. I was like hey, this is what I want to do and um, I really really committed to it They were like are you sure? <laughs> I think they had, had it. Yeah, like seven <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> like, yeah, right, exactly. yeah. They're like are you sure? I was like this is it. I'm sticking to it. They were like, okay fine <laughs> go with it, do this, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, slowly, slowly, you know, they started giving, showing me support, and um, it's it's not just because of me anymore, you know. Mm. Now it's just everyone who's backing me, you know. It's like, wow. that's that's my support system, wow. you know. So, yeah, I'm so glad, I'm so grateful that... For, yeah, that, that you chose I'll a major, you, first of all. Yeah, right, <laughs> not only that, but I'm so grateful I got it off my chest and let them know that, because mm. for a long time, I was like, I felt like I wanted to do it, but I was always very, you know, I always put it off because I was like, what are they going to think? Right. What are my parents going to feel like? And I think if once you have your parents on board with whatever it is that you're going to do, mm -hmm. I feel like you'll be able to do whatever it is that you want. In life. That's very true. Absolutely. Yeah. That's very true because a lot of people end up really miserable mm -hmm. if they're not doing what they want but what their parents want. Right. What about you? What did your parents think of you <laughs> and your choice? So my parents, they... I wanted to go to school for music, first off. Um, I actually wanted to study music business mm -hmm. as well as, you know, just music technology, period. Um, and they were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you, uh, if you are going to school, you need to go to school for something a little more grounded, mm -hmm. a little more stable. Um, 
and then they threw out the whole oh you know that that music industry it's it's finicky it's <laughs> it's, it's you know it's so competitive yeah. but of course i was always the kid of uh like i would always question everything and i always had like a like an opposing thought or like a and, and so they were like you know they gave me the whole competitiveness and i was like well that's any industry though right that <laughs> everywhere you go there's competition <laughs> and so they insisted that i go to school for something a little more um <laughs> well, i don't remember the yeah yeah <laughs> for lack of a better word, lucrative. And oh. so I went to school for engineering. And because I figured, okay, well, this I really love roller coasters. Maybe <laughs> I could. <laughs> That's why you went to school. I've never heard that before. I was like, maybe I could design roller coasters. <laughs> oh, and no, so yeah. <laughs> so that was my thing. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna design roller coasters. That's gonna, that's gonna be my thing. So I went okay. to school for engineering. And um, first year, I hated it. Mm. I hated Hated it. I was like, "This is not what I want to do." Like I was like, "I just want to ride them. I don't want to." <laughs> I, don't wanna, I, don't wanna, <laughs> I like them? the I like the roller coaster tycoon game. I can design them on there yeah. and move on with my life. So we <laughs> kind of like that same talk. I was like, "You know, guys, I love you, but um, yeah. I don't want to waste your money or my yeah. time. Like, yeah. I just this is not where my heart is." And so they were not happy, of course, but they gave me the benefit of the doubt. But once they saw my commitment. And you know, I started buying my own equipment. Like to this day, I have my own mini studio that I, you know, where I can record and do what I need to do. Mm. So when they started seeing that, uh, oh, then oops. they became fans. Mm. Right. Mm. Okay. So then when acting came along, it was one of those situations like, oh, the, oh, <laughs> what happened, yeah. what, what what happened, happened to this? music? Yeah. yeah. Like, wh wh where's the music? 